this episode, guys, I'm going to give you a full update on our sunflowers. <laughs> So if you guys remember, a while back in the spring, way back in May, we planted this 36 by 36 field of sunflowers. To be more exact, these guys are Russian mammoth sunflowers. And they're good for eating if you can get it to the point where you're harvesting seeds. And today we're just going to go over a little bit how these guys are doing. First, we got to take care of the animals and uh, give Stormy some playtime because she's been locked up in my shop because of her bum leg. And uh, we're going to check in on Fozzie Bear, the new fat cat around here. And we'll check in on all the other animals too. Overall, I'd say that we've done pretty well for our first year ever planting sunflowers. And I'm really looking forward to a little bit more time where we can see if we can harvest some seeds. I can't believe how tall some of them are. They're not all tall. And I mean, I guess seeds are just like humans, you know, like I'm six foot three. There's some guys that are five foot nine. My brother is six foot five. My other brother's five foot 11. My dad's six foot. So it's all just in your genes. It's probably the same way with plants. It's in their genes. Some of them are tall, some of them are short. Maybe certain spots of the soil here doesn't have good nutrients. I'm sure all of the grasses and the weeds that are mixed in here doesn't help matters because they're stealing all of the moisture and all the nutrients. But the good thing, the roots are so deep on these guys.
Sunflower is basically made up of two different flowers, in case you didn't know. These flowers right here are called the ray flowers, and they encircle the entire plant. Then you got these guys. These are called the disc flowers. They're called disc flowers because they're little discs, and these are what's going to turn into the seeds. A lot of eggs in there. Somehow, five of the young black leghorn roosters came in here on their own, and Big Red's not happy about it. He's trying to keep them in line. And all these young black leghorn roosters, they're all starting to crow now, eh? So they're trying to show their manliness. <laughs> Let's go and check on these little ducks. They, uh, they haven't been eating a lot. And I don't know why. They're active, they're loud, you can hear them. But uh, they haven't been eating a lot. This is the same food and the same water that I gave them yesterday. So I don't know what's the deal with these ducks. Are they fasting? I mean, they're molting a lot right now. I wonder if that affects them. But I'm gonna get them rumbling here and uh, see if today's any different. Yeah, they seem very disinterested in the food. Just going to leave it there, let them go for a while and see. I've never seen that happen before. I've been raising ducks for more than a year now. They always want to eat. Maybe they were freaked out by some predator last night or something. They all look okay though. They look healthy. Nobody was uh, touched or preyed upon. Oh well, it's nature I guess. <laughs> Elvis and his crew, they're still getting used to this new coop. It's only been a few days. They like the roosts, but they haven't laid any eggs since they've been in here, but it's only been a couple days. So I'm not really worried about it. They need to get settled in and comfortable in their new space, you know? Did you guys know that sunflowers usually face east? It's just something weird. It happens. Once it reaches a certain weight, this big giant ball right here, the head, look, it's the size of my head. Like, look at the size of this thing. <laughs> Christ, it's like it's going to eat me. Once this reaches a certain size, it starts to get really heavy because all of these disc flowers 
are going to be what's turning into seeds and it just can't hold the weight so you can see there's like a drooping effect here because it just can't possibly hold it I know that it's not a situation of the plant not receiving enough water because the leaves aren't wilting at all but this guys is somewhat normal when you're dealing with huge headed sunflowers <laughs> guys I just measured this one that one right there the tall guy it's nine feet four inches nine feet tall nine feet tall it's like a little bit curving I'm sure if you straightened it up and straightened up the head it's gonna be close to ten feet tall awesome all fun times here at the farm You're gonna have sunflower seeds for me and my wife to eat I don't know if chickens eat sunflower seeds Ducks and geese eat sunflower seeds. We have Pooper the parrot at home. He loves sunflower seeds. I love sunflower seeds. My wife loves sunflower seeds. Who doesn't love sunflower seeds? Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. It was a great day on the farm. Thanks for the visit. You guys take care, okay?